these people honestly think that if we tax the Western civilization into poverty, somehow the weather is going to be better. Activists jailed for throwing soup on sunflowers. Wait, 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 wait. I've got something for this. Hold on. Here we go. Oh, no. What? What happened? What? Ha oh, no. How terrible. That's just... That's just awful. How terrible. Oh, no. Now, if you're short of memory, here are the two Mensa candidates throwing soup on a painting in order to... convince you to stop using fossil fuels. Ah, yes. That'll show everyone, girls. And while you're at it, glue yourself to the wall just below it. I know I'm convinced. Two Just Stop Oil activists have been jailed for throwing soup over Vincent van Gogh's sunflower paintings after they came close to destroying the masterpiece. Phoebe Plummer, 23, they them, by the way, and Anna Holland, 22, were previously convicted of criminal damage after the contents of the two tins of tomato soup were poured onto the priceless 1888 piece at the National Gallery in London. They then glued their hands to the wall beneath it. The pair caused £10,000 worth of damage to the gold-coloured frame of the glass-covered painting in the October 2022 attack. Everyone remember, will you? 1022. Plummer received a two-year jail term at South Walk Crown Court while Holland was handed 20 months. Outside the court, a number of JSO supporters <laughs> gathered some of whom held posters of historical figures jailed for activism. Yes, I'm sure they're going to uh, be remembered for their actions in years to come and not just totally forgotten or laughed off completely. Staff at the gallery were worried the soup may have dripped through the protective glass and, excuse me, and destroyed the painting the court heard. It's also heard that the damaged frame had been purchased by the gallery in 1999, was valued at about £28,000. So, sentencing the women, Judge Christopher Hare said the cultural treasure could have been seriously damaged or even destroyed. The judge, who previously jailed the co-founder of Just Stop Oil and the Extension Rebellion for five years, added that soup might have seeped through the glass. You couldn't have cared less if the paintings was damaged or not. You had no right to do what you did to sunflowers, he said. Raj Shada, defending Holland, said the women did check that the painting was protected by a glass covering before throwing the soup. So it's all just performative virtue signaling bollocks, isn't it? The pair were found guilty of criminal damage by a jury after three hours of deliberation in July. The judge told Plummer, who was also handed a criminal behaviour order, you clearly think your beliefs give you the right to commit crimes when you feel like it. You do not. Plummer, representing herself, told the hearing. That's smart. My choice today is to accept whatever sentence I receive with a smile. Yeah, funny, Miss Plummer. Uh, once you hit that jail... Uh, your whole they-them belief uh, is kind of out the door and you won't be smiling, especially when the uh, sisters are done with you. It's not just myself being sentenced today or my co-defendants, but the foundations of democracy itself. Oh, you're so brave. Plummer was also handed a three-month sentence for her part in a slow march which caused long tailbacks in West London in November 2023. In July, just five days after her guilty verdict, Plummer was arrested for spraying paints on departure boards at Heathrow Airport. All performative rubbish. But do I feel... How do I feel? There is a little bit of schadenfreude, I'm not going to lie, but what Ms Plummer doesn't realise is that she's just a useful idiot. Funded by a bloke called Dale Vince, who founded something called Ecotricity, which is a green energy company and happens to be a significant donor to Keir Starmer's Labour Party. So he's using you, Miss Plummer, in order to advance his financial gain. Funnily enough, one of the other big contributors to Just Stop Oil is a donor called Onward Together, which was founded by Hillary Clinton. Yeah. 
they gave three hundred thousand dollars to the Climate Emergency Fund, which is the big big donor of Just Stop Oil. It's their financial backer, uh, plus another two hundred thousand uh, dollars. So basically, that helps fund the protests. So all these people. They're not going out there doing it on their own accord. They're all financially backed. They're all paid for. Look, if Ms. Plummer was serious about her activism, then she would be advocating for nuclear power because there's a whole bunch of countries right now who are building nuclear because they realise that it is safe, it is clean, it is green, and it can handle baseload power. Just to name a few places, Argentina, Bangladesh, Brazil, China, Egypt, France, India, Iran, Japan, South Korea, Russia, Slovakia, Sweden, Turkey, Ukraine, everyone's favourite Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. Uh, we also got this report that dropped just not so long ago that the Department of Energy in the United States basically said that they are moving forward with some more nuclear power as well. You know what else, you know what else that Phoebe and the Just Stop Oil people should be doing if they were serious about their protests and if it wasn't just performative art? They would be going to the likes of China or India and protesting there, them being some of the biggest contributor of CO2 pollution the big boogeyman, CO2, we can't have that. That's where they would be going. That's who they would be confronting. The, the, the political parties of China and the political parties of, of India telling them to clean up their act. Yeah, they're, they're, implementing, they're in, implementing nuclear power. Uh, but they're also building more coal stations as well. No, see, the thing is people like Phoebe are useful idiots for these organisations who are trying to better financially secure themselves with their green energy companies. They prey on impressionable young retards like Phoebe in order to get their messages across. They are useful idiot foot soldiers. Maybe she'll have a change of mind while she's in prison I highly doubt it because all they, they what's going to happen is she'll go to prison and they'll just find yet another one to take her place, whatever that metaphor is. You, you understand what I'm saying. But it's all, just, it's all just bullshit. Just utter bullshit that these people honestly think that if we tax the Western civilization into poverty somehow the weather is going to be better. That's not how it works. All right, mate, thanks very much for checking out the channel and this video, so follow me up there. Do all the things down there. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. <laughs>